Hi everyone, welcome back to the Omni Studio series. It's me Vishnu and today in this session we are going to discuss and learn about the input elements in OmniScript and we will go through some of the basic elements and then in further videos we will deep down in complex input elements uh, like select, multi-select and uh, lookups. But in this session it will be just simpler. Uh, simpler elements so i will create a new omniscript for this and i will name it like input element uh, i would call it basic input element os we'll keep the same in type and subtype and so now we have this step created and here we can find out our input elements okay I'll go through the basics of like every element that we have in input, uh, but not in too deep. And so, uh, you know about the checkbox, it, it, does, it does just do the like true and false. And so every element have like couple of uh, properties like read only. So if you mark it like this will be read only, right? Use a date or anything like that. And then you can have default value. Obviously it is a checkbox. So if if you are making something default then it will be true and then uh, repeat setting is something that you will find in every element in the entire omniscript but we are not going to cover this in video and then we have this conditional view which means you can show and hide this checkbox uh, based on some of the value that are available in your omniscript right so we will go through these things in uh, further videos but yeah so that's that's it on the checkbox side nothing else uh, i'll skip the custom lighting web component for uh, uh, some other later session and then we have currency inbuilt uh, so as the name suggests right it can uh, have your like numbers uh, in currency format that you can, you can see uh, and then you can do in this format options here like minimum currency value maximum right uh, if it should allow the negative numbers or not uh, something like that and then we have date and date time uh, pretty much you must have already done in like uh, a lot of places so far and then we have this new which is your disclosure so uh, you will see like similar thing in with the checkbox and disclosure right so disclosure moreover you can consider those as uh, your terms and condition right so when you are registering and somewhere right you see a checkbox called terms and condition and you can't register without checking this checkbox right so the, and and that on those kind of cases you will use the disclosure but not the checkbox right and because you can't mark checkbox as a required because it can have only false or true right so if it is not checked then it's false if checked is it true right but it cannot be required right in those cases you will utilize the disclosure right so you can mark a disclosure as a required so that is a big difference and that is only available in the omniscript out of box right so you can mark it as a check box as a required so what does that mean like if i go back and i'll say hey i agree to all terms and conditions and if i go and preview it so you see this uh, we have this uh, checkbox which is marked as a required right and just to remind you once again uh, every value will be in a node right uh, based on what you are giving as a api name of that particular input element right so checkbox one disclosure one so my suggestion would be when you are developing for a project uh, don't keep as it is uh, right keep it meaningful and the way we are doing in apex or lwc okay so that's disclosure and let's go find out the next one we have out of box email available so this is good thing you don't have to do a lot of validation it will do out of box but yet if you want to do some other kind of patents you can apply the regex and you can uh, provide the pattern error as well okay let's go to the next one uh, 
file and lookup is something that we will cover in some other videos again and same goes for multi-select then we have the number it it can take input of numbers you can define min and max then you have password uh, radio is something that we will cover in another video and then you have range uh, this is again uh, something new so you can provide this like very uh, creative way of input to the user so they can provide some numerical input in this range variable right you can have like minimum one and ten something else. so they can drag and they can set this so pretty cool uh, thing in inputs and then you have a select which we will cover later then you have out of box telephone right which is again pretty good thing you can define your formatting here the masking and everything here so and again uh, the similar attribute you can find out read only and required and validation again if you have anything else like pattern you can provide your regex here and then we have the text and the text area uh, again almost you you will able to find out everything here uh, you have the required read only minimum maximum right and then you have the time uh, input which is pretty cool uh, because you can define your time right and uh, differences in the time interval like uh, so if i go back and do the preview so you see like 12 am right and you can define the interval there so again uh, pretty pretty cool thing uh, i would say and going back to the inputs so we cover time and url again you know what i i love this thing about the omni studio and omni script that a lot of thing they are providing without any kind of code that you have to impose here right so a lot of validation in behalf of yours right you don't need to do the development for that right so cool uh, so these are basics i would say uh, input elements then there are some other input elements that i will cover in next video uh, because those have some complex uh, data structure something like that so we, we, we definitely we will we will be covering that but uh, again uh, the important thing is that like let's say if you have two uh, currency like text boxes right or currency boxes you cannot have duplicate name right? which is pretty important thing right so if i do like one which will tell you this this name is already in use right the reason is that uh, whatever you are adding here consider consider those as your fronted element as well as your variables right you can't have the duplicate variables in your apex or in lwc right the similar thing apply here the same rule apply here as well okay cool uh, so we'll see you in next video thank you bye bye